<laughs> Here are 10 hints and tips that you might find useful if you are a new or returning player and has forgotten everything they know. I have put some timestamps on this video for each hint. Let's begin. Number 1. When you are first starting out, you'll need to choose which server to create your pirate on, and I've mentioned this elsewhere, but I think it's one of the most important things to get right, because if you choose the wrong server initially, you're going to have to create an entirely new character from scratch if you ever decide you want to move. Uh, for new players, I would suggest Emerald Server, as it's the most populated, and because it's a doubloon server, it can easily be free to play for you. Just to make sure that you're on the right server, on the login screen, make sure the ocean is set to emerald. If it's not, just click change and make sure it's the one highlighted in yellow. Number two, do the missions. They do a good job of teaching you the basics of all the puzzles. When you first log in, you'll be greeted with this notice board screen with a lot of tabs at the top and things to do. Click around if you want and have a browse. But if you're new, a good starting point is this missions tab. Uh, you can select a mission from there. Things like building, sailing or rigging with the navy are good ways to start out and practice the puzzles risk-free. And you can also earn a little bit of starting money. For a change of pace, you can also earn money by joining tournaments and most of them are free. You just have to go to an inn, like this one, click on the tournaments tab and join them. Most of them are free. Number four, turn on global chat. It's not on by default and you'll miss out on notifications of things such as events or voyages etc. You can use forward slash help to see what commands are available and the one to turn global chat on it's forward slash global hyphen on. You can also turn off trade chat if that annoys you by this way too. Number five, how do you get around the world? Well, there's free ferries at the docks for close islands, but for further away locations, you'll need another method. One way is to go on the notice board and check the events tab, and you'll have people hosting showings at different locations in the world, and you can teleport there for free. Alternatively, you can go to an apothecary and buy a whisking potion there. This is a teleport potion that allows you to visit islands that you've been to before. Number 6. Join a crew. It's an online multiplayer game, so you might want to join a crew just to find a group of people that you get on well with, or have similar interests, or just to make new friends. How do you meet these new people in the first place? It's up to you. An easy way could be just to join their pillages or events and see what they're like. This leads me into possibly the most important point of all. Number 7. Job for Blockades. For some reason, they are advertising 10,000 pieces of 8 per round. When I played years ago, these prices were no way that high. You're going to get around 10,000 pieces of 8 for 15 minutes of puzzling. That is 40,000 pieces of 8 per hour. You are not going to earn that much money elsewhere easily. They run for several hours on weekends, so you can rack up a ton of money easily. Please be aware, you need to have narrow experience in two or more piracy puzzles though to enter, so get pillaging and get those stats up. Number 8. If you're new and not super confident about your puzzling skills and it affecting other people, join a large pillaging ship. Your performance won't have such a large impact compared to if you're the only person trying to keep that ship afloat. Don't be afraid to join smaller ships though, as everyone I've met does seem friendly. However, if you are thinking of running a pillage yourself, that will require extra work and I wouldn't necessarily advise a new player to run one. If you do decide to try and run one yourself, instead of buying a ship yourself, you could see if your crew has any unlocked ships for you that you could use, and you can ask your crew if they want to help you learn the ropes. Number 9. Teaming up in sword fights or rumbles. It's not really explained anywhere in game, but when you enter a sword fight or a rumble, you can click on an enemy to target them. You can see how many people are also targeting a pirate by the number of circles against their puzzle. There's more nuance to it than this, but generally you should never try to be attacking by yourself and instead try and team up with groups of two or three. You can also see how many pirates are attacking you by the same method. If the pirate you're attacking is defeated, remember to check your target, as it will have reset. And finally it's number 10, possibly the most useful tip here. This video only contains 10 quick hints and tips, but there is a lot of resources available to help you elsewhere online. In particular, I suggest visiting the forums and Yipedia. The forums have a tips and tricks section which might help you solve some of your issues with a particular puzzle, and Yipedia also contains every single bit of information that you'd ever want. All easily searchable and in one handy place. 
So that was 10 quick tips for new players, or even if you're a returning player and needed some help refreshing your memory a bit. Let me know your thoughts or if you have any extra hints or tips that you want to share in the comments.